Upright pianos are one of life's necessities, but they're seldom a thrill. The idea, of course, is to take the parts of a grand piano that occupy, well, the most floor space and tip it up so that it's occupying vertical space instead. But in doing so, it becomes infinitely harder to create an equally magical experience because engineering and design realities that compromise or change how you feel or hear the piano. The hammer has to be pulled back to its reset position instead of, well, simply falling with gravity. It's easier to miss notes because of that greater bounce. The tone, of course, is usually locked in this box and backed up against a wall versus being able to fill a room with double-sided speakers the size of a table, kind of like what a grand piano can do. And let's face it, it's usually just not the same sexy look as what a grand gives a home. But with space in short supply in most apartments and homes in Europe and, well, Japan for that matter, upright instruments have evolved over the decades to really be elegant and incredibly nuanced instruments that make up for their inherent shortcomings with better engineering and, where you can get it, perfect execution. Now, the German-built A6 upright that we're in front of today is a redesign of their prior A124 model, itself a relatively fresh release from the iconic German maker. The A124 was a gutsy piano that played well in NAM ballrooms, but also larger showrooms and halls, and might very well have been in the running for the most powerful 50-inch German upright piano, period. So I'll admit that the first time I heard it in a customer's home, it was a little more dominant than I'd have liked. What the new A6 has achieved now is really the best of both worlds. In a typical home setting, the instrument gives me the same tonal range and the dynamic impression as what the A124 gave me in larger spaces. But at no point does it ever become so overbearing that you feel like you need to underplay or over dampen the room. And the type of low end response I loved at the forte range on the A124, I can now achieve at a piano or a pianissimo range on the A6. There are substantial scale design differences, obviously, that they've undertaken to achieve this. Longer and slightly higher tension bass strings seem to be delivering an even tighter and clearer low end, but without any compromise to the warmth and balance. The shape of the taper on the soundboard has also been redone, and so unsurprisingly, the bridge placement and its contour has had to be updated. The A6 action also feels slightly more grand-like than the A124 ever did to me, and the low volume control has also improved with almost a Kawhi Millennium 3 type pianissimo range. The styling on the cabinet has been further modernized with a few new bevels, and they've dispensed with the dual cabinet styles that they had with the A124 for, I'm gonna say, a less confusing lineup. So for those like me that loved the A124, do not look to the A6 to simply be more of the same with improved branding or cabinets. It's a very different beast. So let's get in front of this instrument for a few minutes and sample the goods of what we're talking about with that lower mid-range clarity, the improved lower dynamic responsiveness, and just the overall color that the A6 brings to the table. I'm going to talk about a couple of technical things I'm hearing. For one, the break on this piano is fantastic. And when I talk about break, I'm talking about the transition between those steel triple strings down to the dual copper strings. 
And this has a longer base bridge than you normally find. It, in fact, transitions to the base bridge at the D flat below middle C, which is a little higher, usually by two or three notes than what you typically find. Uh, and so the tonal change from the mid range to the bass is minimized and you don't get this weird three or four note section where there's a lot of uncontrolled overtones, which can often happen in shorter grand pianos and even in better upright pianos, it's still not a guarantee that you're gonna get this nice smooth transition. They've done this incredibly well. That's a real testament to the uh, specificity with which they've managed the hammers here because to be able to get a match tone not just at one volume but at multiple volumes when you're dealing with both copper and steel is incredibly difficult but I can get the same kind of color both down in the bass as well as the treble when I'm uh, lifting into like my forte or even fortissimo ranges. find a lot of um, melodies, uh, for example, on piano don't often get written that cross that break because it's so um, ununified in terms of its, if its tonal texture. So this is really cool to hear that. The other thing uh, down in this lower end is that you've got definitely more clarity as we talked about in the bass. Um, on uprights, even taller uprights, it's often the case that you need to play the octave for your ear to really pick out what the fundamental is because um, it's so buried in overtones. But even just the single notes right down to the lower A, it's pretty obvious what note it is that you're playing. In your mid-range, you have uh, quite a round, sweet tone uh, that's got a really nice bloom to it. That tonal profile is different than what you usually get on that bell-like treble out of a German piano. And the prominence of the attack compared to the sustain is a lot um, uh, uh, smaller in terms of its difference than also you normally get on a German upright piano. I don't hear as much of a difference between the A6 and the A124 when I get up into the treble here. The other thing I mentioned is that physical control in your lower dynamic range is feeling a little better on this uh, than on the previous model, and that's, that's definitely evident. Without feeling like I'm skating on the uh, keys in any way, I feel like I've got tons of layers and range uh, to play within my pianissimo range and my piano uh, range. That's our deep dive into the sound of this A6 and really the results of those engineering changes that we've talked about.